Despite the fact that Blue Origins was created two years before SpaceX, many people believe that SpaceX will soon take over Blue Origins in the coming years. On the other hand, it appears SpaceX has continually inventing and is advancing with new technologies every year. Many people believe that Blue Origin is putting in more work than they are receiving in return. The Blue Origin logo, which is made up of a feather, is a symbol of the perfection of flight, but the firm has yet to take flight on its own. With a work ethic that has so far been based on laziness, Jeff Bezos who is currently stepping down as the CEO of Amazon, is one of the world's most well-known billionaires, and has established the gold standard for all future e-commerce businesses. He also has a stake in the media empire, owning the Washington Post. In a message to his staff, the leaving CEO indicated that he will devote his time and attention to other interests, one of which is Blue Origin. To summarize, the busiest period of the firm has yet to arrive. Despite the fact that everything appeared to be going swimmingly when Blue Origin managed to land the new Shepard vertically and reuse the rockets, the firm has had a succession of setbacks, one of which was losing NASA's human landing system contract to Elon Musk's SpaceX. Is the firm on the verge of collapsing? Let's look at some of the other reasons that contributed to the company's apparent demise before reaching a conclusion. The two billionaires have expressed differing but strong aspirations for their businesses and humanity's future. While Elon Musk dreams of establishing a human colony on Mars, Jeff Bezos envisions free-floating habitats. These are very large structures, miles on end, and they hold a million people or more each. These are really pleasant places to live. Some of these O'Neill colonies might choose to replicate Earth cities. This is Maui on its best day all year long. No rain, no storms, no earthquakes. On the other hand, Blue Origin is moving at a snail's pace, which means they will trail behind anything Musk does. Though Elon Musk has had his share of failures, he famously stated, if you're not failing enough, you're not innovating. Anything which is significantly innovative is going to come with a significant risk of failure. And his desire for fame has worked brilliantly, as Musk has achieved the feat of sending up to 100 flights, boasting the reusability features on Falcon 9. By the way, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to our channel, where we keep you up to date on all the latest news from Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX. It only takes a few seconds to subscribe, and while you're there, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. While Bezos has been focusing on space tourism, for the ultra-wealthy, with his newer endeavors, with a current high bid of $2.8 million, Blue Origin's website is already running a bid for the first seat, on his new Shepard. So he clearly understands how to earn money, and the group of six thrill-seekers who were supposed to go up there in zero-g by 2021 may have to wait even longer due to the pandemic's delay. And, since we're on the subject of delays, Amazon's 98-meter-tall New Glenn, which is meant to transport 50 tons of payload to low Earth orbits using reusable rockets, was supposed to launch by the end of this year. The goal with New Glenn, named after John Glenn, is to take humans to space as well, in the long run. And the boosters would be landing on a ship, much as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy do. About the rescheduling and launch date, a firm official said, this amended maiden flight goal reflects the recent Space Force decision not to choose New Glenn, but the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 Launch Services procurement. Additional Glenn plans to complete its current commercial contracts, seek a vast and expanding commercial market, and sign new civil space launch contracts. We plan to launch SSL payloads in the future and will continue to support the U.S. national security mission. The collaboration of SpaceX and United Launch Alliance benefited from the failure of Blue Origin and Northrop Grumman to impress the Space Force. However, Blue Origin is not out of the woods yet, since NASA has let them to compete for future contracts under their Launch Services 2 program, which is their only hope for the time being. Even if it sounded great, the firm would still have to get out from under the shadow of Elon Musk's SpaceX before gaining anything here.
And Jeff Bezos, as the business's sole investor, may have to put more money in the company than his present commitment of $1 billion each year. The two space businesses aren't fighting, except when it comes to rocket reusability and securing big contracts. Amazon is also attempting to catch up to SpaceX in terms of internet access with a network of 3,000 satellites known as Project Kuiper. Which is more or less the same as Musk's idea with Starlink, and useless beta. The project, which is being overseen by a former vice president of Starlink operations, is behind schedule, since Musk has already launched 1,500 satellites into orbit. If Kuiper succeeds, Amazon will be able to provide worldwide satellite broadband connectivity as part of its Amazon Web Services, or AWS. However, in order to keep the FCC's operational license, at least half of the total must be launched by 2026. Despite the positive prognosis for this ambitious project, Amazon has turned its back on its sibling business by opting for United Launch Alliance's Atlas V launch system instead of the Blue Origin. What could have been a worse disaster for Blue Origin than the lack of faith displayed by its own establishment? Let's not forget about Blue Origin's humiliating failure to win a contract to develop a lunar lander for NASA's project Artemis, which finally resulted in a 2.9 billion deal landing in Elon Musk's hands. NASA would place a woman and a person of color on the moon, and develop sustainable elements on and around it to assist science, before learning from their mistakes and preparing a mission to Mars. SpaceX had the lowest price at about 2.9 billion, compared to a costly bid of 5.9 billion by Blue Origin Squad. NASA picked SpaceX because it had the lowest bid at around 2.9 billion. They are now preparing to take NASA to the United States Government Accountability Office to establish that the contract was awarded unjustly. As much as it might stall work, it can also embarrass Bezos, because his prospects of beating the American space behemoth are little to none. Apart from what we've just said, others have sided with arguments relating with human psychology, claiming that because Bezos has a steady stream of revenue from Amazon, he doesn't need to worry about computer innovation. However, if SpaceX slows down, they'll be forced to shut out contracts, causing revenue department concerns. Would Bezos, a firm that has been left behind in terms of technical developments by smaller enterprises like Rocket Lab, eventually demonstrate a fresh spirit by focusing more on Blue Origin's goals for the cosmos? Or is it simply going to be Elon Musk, who has shown to be a pure genius hero, who takes mankind to the Mars? Who's eager to see what happens next between Blue Origins and SpaceX? Let us know your thoughts on the topic in the comments section below. A quick reminder to subscribe to our channel, there's a link down below for more Tesla news and conjecture. If you want to learn more about Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we have two more video alternatives for you to watch on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly news like this.